This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and it's early spring here in the Pacific Northwest, but in other parts of the country, uh, when you see crocus in bloom, or daffodils, or snowdrop bulbs, that means it's time to plant your, your, your patio, your porch pots, with these early spring bloomers. Now, these are primroses. Primroses are more common early spring bloomers, and this is calendula. Calendula is a little bit less common, but it's also been called pot marigold. It grows in rockeries. I think it's a great um, overlooked uh, semi-perennial plant that's great for early spring planters because both of these can take the cold. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So here's the planter. You can see I've already got some primroses in here already. Primroses are the traditional early spring bloomers. And um, what I'm going to do is use just one calendula I'm going to show you some planting tips. First of all, I like to put my slow-release plant food in the soil before I add the plants. Now, these early spring bloomers don't need a lot of uh, fertilizer right now, but the Osmocote is going to release nutrients all summer long. So even if I take these out, I tend to take these early spring bloomers out in the summer and replace them with summer plants, that Osmocote is still going to be in there to fertilize these flowers for a full six to nine months. Now here's the thing about this um, calendula. Notice it's facing in one direction. Instead of putting the plant in just randomly like this, I'm going to turn it so the calendula is facing the front of the container. This black mondo grass is always in the container all year long, so it's okay to add spring color, take that out, add summer color, but the perennial, the black mondo grass, just stays in all year long. Now here's another tip. Now watch how I get the plants out of the pot. Massage or squeeze the plastic pots first. Then you can turn it upside down and it slides out easily. Also what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull apart the root ball. See that? Loosening the roots by pulling it apart encourages these roots to spread out into that soil and get the plant off to a better start. So there I go. All I have left to do, water it in, and as long as it doesn't drop below like 25 degrees, these beautiful orange plants are early spring bloomers, calendulas, and primroses. Get outside and start gardening now. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens.